Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, <coughs> Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungso, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we gather in this Eucharistic celebration asking our Lord Jesus Christ to connect us to God the Father and to connect us with one another. And so to prepare ourselves for this sacrament of communion, let us first acknowledge our sinfulness and ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, restorer and lover of innocence, Direct the hearts of your servants towards yourself, that those you have set free from the darkness of unbelief may never stray from the light of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some who had come down from Judea were instructing the brothers, unless you are circumcised according to the Mosaic practice, you cannot be saved. Because there arose no little dissension and debate by Paul and Barnabas with them, it was decided that Paul, Barnabas, and some of the others should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and presbyters about this question. They were sent on their journey by the church and passed through Phoenicia and Samaria, telling of the conversion of the Gentiles and brought great joy to all the brethren. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church, as well as by the apostles and the presbyters, and they reported what God had done with them. But some from the party of the Pharisees, who had become believers, stood up and said, It is necessary to circumcise them and direct them to observe the Mosaic law. The apostles and the presbyters met together to see about this matter. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoice because they said to me, We will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem built as a city with compact unity. To it, the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the degree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord, in it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me will bear much fruit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does, he prunes so that it bears more fruit. 
you are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire and they will be burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, in our Gospel passage today, portrays himself as our point of connection with the Father and with one another. By using the image of the vine, telling us that Jesus is the vine, the Father is the vine grower, and we are the branches. Then, if we are connected to the vine, Jesus, we are connected to each other as branches. And we are also connected to the Father as the vine grower. Si Jesus po ang ating koneksyon, ang ating ugnayan, Kapag tayo ay nakaugnay sa Kanya, ang puno ng ubas na sinasabi sa ating Ebanghelyo ngayon, kapag tayo ay nakaugnay sa puno na ito, magiging magkakaugnay tayo bilang mga sanga ng puno na iyan. At tayo rin ay mananatiling nakakonekta at nakaugnay sa Ama na tagapangalaga ng puno na ito. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus now, when we come to Jesus, we become connected to one another and we become connected to God the Father. And so, I know many of us at this time of pandemic somehow lost our connection with one another since many of us are restricted in movement somehow we miss our connection with one another especially those who are sick right now those who are quarantined, those who are confined in the hospitals, especially when you are afflicted with COVID-19, it is necessary for us to be quarantined and somehow we are disconnected physically with one another. Those who have lost their loved ones, and you feel at this time that somehow you have lost your physical connection with your loved one. This can be a challenge in your life, a deeper challenge. But remember, my dear brothers and sisters, if we are connected to Jesus, 
the vine, then He will connect us to the Father and He will be our connection also with one another. Marami po sa atin ngayon ang nakakaramdam na parang nawawala yung connection natin sa isa't isa. Lalo na kapag ikaw ay may sakit ng COVID-19, naka-isolate ka at hindi mo nakikita, hindi mo makasama physically ang iyong mga mahal sa buhay, yung mga namatayan po at nawala ng mga mahal sa buhay, nararamdaman ninyo at namimiss ninyo yung koneksyon sa kanila. Sinasabi ni Jesus sa atin ngayon, Remain in me, and I will connect you to the Father, to God, and I will connect you to each other. Let us remain in the vine. If we feel we are disconnected, if we feel alone, if we feel isolated, if we miss the connection we have with our uh, departed loved ones, connect yourselves to Jesus and He will connect you to the Father. He will connect us to one another. Yesterday, I, uh, I attended a, a uh, funeral mass for a patient who was afflicted with COVID-19 and later on uh, passed away because of complications. And uh, the family told us, sabi nila, alam nyo, Father, nung siya ay nasa ICU and when he was still uh, uh, conscious, he would ask us to always tune in to the Manila Cathedral online mass. And recently, I learned that many patients in the hospitals, even medical workers who are working in the hospitals, begin their day by listening to the Holy Mass in our online platforms. And so I am sure that some of you who are watching right now, you, are, you may be confined in your hospital room, sometimes even in the intensive care unit, and you are there alone. You are not physically with your families, with your loved ones, and you miss them. You feel isolated. You feel disconnected. Let this online Mass be your connection. Let Jesus in this Eucharist connect you with the community, connect you with the Father. You are not alone, Jesus tells you. Remain in me, the vine. And if you remain in the vine, Jesus, then you will never be alone. You are connected to the vine grower, the Father. And you are connected to the branches with us, with your family, with the community and the family of the church. You will never be alone if you remain connected to Jesus. You will never be isolated if you are connected to the vine. That is why in our first reading today from the Acts of the Apostles, Paul, Barnabas, and the other disciples are working very hard to connect the churches in different places, in Phoenicia, in Samaria, in Jerusalem, in Antioch. Even if they come from different places, different backgrounds, different races. They are Jews, some are Gentiles, but because of the work of the church in Jesus Christ, they worked very hard 
to let them know that you are not alone. Even if you are far away in Phoenicia and Samaria, you are connected to those in Jerusalem. Because in Jesus, we remain with God and we remain with one another. We are connected in Jesus. This Mass is especially offered for those of you who are sick right now. You may be in your hospital rooms, in the intensive care unit. You may be a nurse or a doctor playing this online Mass for yourselves or for those, for your patients who want to listen to God's Word and the celebration of the Holy Eucharist this morning, Jesus promises you that when you are connected to Him, even in this online Mass that you are listening, Jesus promises us that when you remain in Me, He said, whatever you want, it will be done for you. Let this online Mass be your connection to Jesus. And Jesus now connects you to the Father. Jesus connects you with the family of the Church. Amen. United as one body of worshipers in the Lord, we bring our needs with confidence before God, our Father. For every petition, let us say, Eternal Vine Grower, make us fruitful. Eternal Vine Grower, make us fruitful. That the unity which comes from Christ, the true vine, may draw all Christians to his church. Let us pray to the Lord. Eternal, Eternal vine, vine grower, make, make us, us fruitful. fruitful. That priests, religious, and missionaries may be committed to their vocation in the church and remain united with Christ in their work. Let us pray to the Lord. Eternal vine grower, make us fruitful. That those tried by life's difficulties may be faithful to Christ and His gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Eternal vine grower, make us fruitful. That the sick may see Christ as the source of strength and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Eternal vine grower, make us fruitful. That the faithful departed may remain in Christ forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Eternal vine grower, make us fruitful. Lord, without you, we can do nothing. Hear our prayers and keep us in your love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of His body, He brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending Himself to you for our salvation, showed Himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are, are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection 
you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me 
to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to invite again everyone tonight uh, at 6 p.m. We will be having our first day of our days of prayer and charity. At 6 p.m. today, we will be having a holy hour in front of the Blessed Sacrament. And uh, this holy hour will be dedicated for our frontliners, especially those in the medical field, those who are working very hard to heal many of our brothers and sisters at this time. And so we invite you to join us at 6 p.m. Our Holy Hour will be broadcasted live on our Facebook page tonight at 6 p.m. And then at 9 p.m. also tonight, our prayer of the Healing Rosary for the World. And we will be led live from the National Shrine of Our Lady of Fatima in Valenzuela. And uh, we have already begun the Novena Masses for the feast day of Our Lady of Fatima. And so as we prepare for her feast day, it is uh, very uh, fortunate and uh, uh, really a blessing for us to be led by the community of the National Shrine of Our Lady of Fatima. And so tonight, let us gather as one family to pray the Healing Rosary for the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Reina ng langit, magsaya, Alleluia. Anak mong dinala sa tuwa, Alleluia. Ay nabuhay na maguli, Alleluia. Ipanalangin mo kami sama, Alleluia.